Oba Teru o Oba Abdulakim ade ori yomi Oluwa ase sun yebo keji omo ba teru toku omo ajimude omo ajuju meye ilu e iba meye ilu e iba ti se lori omo ilu ta re ye ta roku ka to roku eye ti lo omo ilu kekere oko ilu ba ntata omo oloru pupa tin be lafun omo dudu ile ko mo be se pupa to mo be se ti raju omo oba nta ide won ni je ko de omo olowojo yi mi je ko o je da gure we o tu ja my name is his royal majesty alailuwa oba doctor adiuri yomi Oluwa sesan Abdul Hakim Oyibo Oyibo the second Adimu Oyibo Obateru of Ebin Royal Kingdom in the Kurudu Division of Lagos State I was born in the 60s I attended Anglican Primary School Jede I went to Azawdin Grammar School Ota Thereafter I went to trading for a while and later went back to the Great College of Technology Yaba where I study general art at OND level and I study graphic design at HND level. After my youth service call, I went further to, to do a diploma in industrial product design. Thereafter, I set up my own company, Print Arts Limited, which is a design shop. I do design, we do design, also we do printing and publishing. Later on, I established another company, Brickstead Construction Limited, which is which I engage in the um, construction jobs, you know, civil work and construction works. Then later, I joined Cowlight and Associate as an associate director. It's a desktop publishing out outfit. We do design, we do printing and all that. Then after a while, I set up an advertising agency, Extrudia Limited. We deal in designing and printing and all that. We engage in, the company is engaging in advertising, marketing, actually total marketing communication in total team. Uh, later on, in the process, I think around 1999, I was elected to become the Obateru of Egbe. Unfortunately, it did not happen until 10 years, until 11 years after. During the 11 years of struggle, I continue, I forge ahead with my businesses and all that, which may, which I eventually establish other companies and so on and so forth and however i was installed and coronated as obater of Ebi on the 22nd of april 20 year 2010 as Omo ilu kekere oko ilu ba ntata omo oloru pupa ti nbe lafun omo dudu ile ko mo be se pupa to mo be se ti raju omo oba nta ide won ni je bode omo olowojo yi meji po o je dagbure we o tu ja u jale omo ta gboro we ibi ti ele omo abina yebe yebe loju omi omo olota nla ni ilu egbin ni e iwo lo mo onigonrin gan nla nipa kan omo ilu ku mede mede omo imale a fe le ja omo asa won ni porike porike se omo akeni gbokeru o bara ona Omo eginre kun omo ajeran mimi to nteje omo ajeun ni gbo fira we nuwo omo oni gbe nko ma na to ba dojo oro ka no ma wa omo oni modi anokoru omo yemule atose omo olomo nre ti gbe omo agbon ofuru inojoko inojoko jodo omo okuya lesun oni le nki gbe omo iselu kara loye omo abiru dudu bi agbon omo oloru le awo serun omo iwoye won to dasun renu omo ayan gbuwa omo tayan tayan meje Omo ojoye joye koye hun ni ni e oba teru to ko je nre ile iya to bi e lomo omo osolo omo agbo meji ni podo ilogbo omo oni logbo asowo omo asolu sawo omo oni sasun meyin di logu omo iya la omo akenigbo keru o bara ona omo oni lemi jo gbara omo owo ligbo keniyan ma yole 
omo abino owo shigiri omo loro tin kogba orin omo ayangun lori esin omo asogba ku kale lori efun omo ni le mi jo ni en omo hun hun idun won ni jo omo obasogun ajaja omo akogun ta omo apore ni bodi oruba omo apon jegudu iwo lomo egungun olowa apo bi ru esin omo yi lo gboko ko mo ba rele omo oro mi je oro mi so omo eleniko bi oluji omo ohun akin omo afagba obi toro leniko omo elisoku mere lo ka gbe kawo gbo omo kiki olota omo aribi won la omo aribi dege omo akasorogun iwo lomo mariwo sara ogun jiwa omo ago meta ko tegun se iwo lomo eni bi meri dilogu to lohun romo bi omo elagboko ko mo ba rele omo osota odu iwo lomo arode de wo mi omo agba o omo agba ogbirin iwo lomo agesin gara gara joye omo mariwo sara ogun jiwa omo akowo lagbon joye oba teru omo oba ni sun fe omo oba ni sun fe wa hun ni iwo ni omo elibobirin sun to nso pe ana omo oloye meji to nre ti eketa oba teru iwo lomo oro oro nje oro nso ka bi esi Ten years on, on the throne. I thank God. I have passed through the good, the bad, and the ugly. I've faced. I've been faced with so many. I was faced with so many challenges. Though I've been able to surmount it, every challenges. I thank God today. The last ten years of my entrenchment. the my community egg me as I enjoys tremendous achievement development during the last 10 years first of all the community has experienced for the first time the tying of all the roads in the community i've been able to assist my people giving scholarships from part primary level to tertiary level in conjunction with some agencies around the community like Chevron Egbo Power PLC and so on and so forth we've been able to help in the area of training of our youth our youth are trained on boat driving we're giving them some vocational training which are solely sponsored by my person and my office in the community also we have assisted the community in the area of earth we have done so many earth assistance to our people from, ranging from breast cancer cavity cancer, uh, cancer ovarian cancer we have done screening on all our women and men also and we giving them the required treatment we have done eye screening for our people both old and young and we've done i have done distribution of free high glasses that we brought abroad we've done that several time and then we also have done a lot in the area of training and sensitizing our people about a particular epidemic that happened immediately before my coronation and immediately after my before my coronation after my coronation especially on the swine flu on the bird flu and what a view of late i have been we've been we have built a community jetty solely from the community effort which is a modern jetty and also we brought all the boats and the equipment we are using at the jetty from abroad we were they were all imported from china and sri lanka after that I've gotten an approval to build a primary and secondary school from Subeb. 
what we are lacking at the moment is the land to build the schools. At the moment, I have started a construction of a new palace, which by the grace of God, by the grace of God, it will be commissioned at my 10 years coronation anniversary. Also, we had a plan of laying a new foundation of a, a modern shopping complex that is called Obateru Kona Shop. By the grace of God, that will also the foundation will be laid as soon as possible. The community Egbe is an ancient town. It's an Ijebu town. It's one of the oldest towns around this area. I mean, in this part of the country. An Ijebu town founded by a prince from Ijebu de Anidowa. An Ijebu town, an ancient town, Egbe as a community was caged from other community with the exception of one which is Ijede. You can only come through Ijede into Egbe. You cannot link Egbe to other part of this area, especially our neighbor community like Agura and Berime. The, the president of the power station has kind of reduced the size of the community to nothing. Hence, development has been a major challenge to us in Egbe. We don't have, we have only inlet, we don't have outlet. Our people in Egbe, after my coronation, our people in Egbe, I have kind of discovered the need for them to be educated because you can see the kind of innovation that God has been able to bring back to the community in, in terms of the king, the kind of king that was enthroned. I'm not praising myself, but they know, they now know the difference of having a king, an educated king, you know, and they now know the value of education within the community. In the next 10 years, I would like to see further development of the community. Most especially, I would like the state government, the federal government of Nigeria, to come into our aid. We have the presence of the state government within the community. So as well, we have the presence of the federal government entity around the community called Hegbim. In the next 10 years, I would like to see Hegbim being expand from where we are today. In the next 10 years, I would like to see schools, government schools, both primary, secondary, springing up within the community. Then also, our, uh, the, the, the companies around there, I want them to improve in their social responsibility, their, their CSR to the community and to, our, to all our neighbors within around Ebony and within the the JDLCD. Finally, I would like to thank God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. I would like to thank my ancestors. I would like to thank all the deities that we worship in Egbe. Through them, we communicate to God and all our prayers are always answered. I thank the entire people of Egbe community. I give thanks to the royal family, to the entire Bateru family, Oyubo royal family, and other royal families in Egbe. I thank my chiefs. I thank my wife. My wives, I thank them for their support. My children and everybody that God has given God that God has blessed me with the people of my of my, of this community, both home and abroad. I appreciate them all. 
they are too numerous for me to mention. Wherever they are, I thank them and I will continue to thank God to give glory to God Almighty for his support to me on the throne of my forefathers. Thank you.